So Eric Trump is actually known as one of the dumber Trump sons. I know. Um, whether he's the dumbest Trump son, I I don't know. It's I guess it's kind of a kind of a toss up, really. Uh, but to show you how Eric might take the mantle from Don Jr. Uh, earlier today, he decided to tweet out a poll. Uh, now this poll actually showed how many Americans disapprove of Donald Trump's performance as president. So his job approval rating, right? Uh, now, uh, Eric uh, linked to a tweet by Bloomberg News correspondent Sahil Kapoor showing President Donald Trump's approval rating had actually risen slightly to 45%. Now, that's the highest mark of his presidency. So uh, he sees that and he's like, nailed it. Yes. Oh, look at that. MAGA. I'm going to tweet that out. That's awesome. 45%. But wait a minute, that's actually terrible. In that same poll, a solid 52% majority of Americans disapprove of Donald Trump's job reform. But he tweets that out with little American flags, right? And is like, nailed it. D nailed it! The Twitter reaction is fucking priceless. Let me read this. Uh, Matt Negrin uh, tweets out, Eric, I'd DM you if I could, but you should delete this. This is an embarrassing poll for Trump. FYI, just a friend here trying to help you out. God bless. So here's somebody who admittedly is like, dude, no, this is bad. This is really, really bad. You're embarrassing yourself. Pull it back, delete the tweet, delete the... You, you know what? That wouldn't do anything anyway because once it's on the internet, it lasts forever. So good luck. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, that's the nicest tweet. Let me go to some uh, more of the fun ones, right? Uh, now, let me see. Uh, PC7 says, you think this is a good thing? God, you're stupid. <laughs> Martin Keene uh, tweets... Um, read it again. More than half a country disapproves of the job your daddy is doing. Not exactly something to get excited about. Hmm. <laughs> Sally Spike says, Eric, I'm guessing you might suck at math. 52 is in fact greater than 45. Just thought you should know. And then, of course, punctuates that with saying, dumbass. <laughs> Gary Wayne says, I hate to tell you, but 45% approval rating is not good enough to keep the House or Senate in November. In fact, that's not very good at all. And there were other polls showing that Democrats generally have a 17-point advantage when it comes to House elections now. That is insanity. Um, but that's great. Uh, and it shows you how unhappy people are with the Trump administration, despite the fact that the economy is actually not bad. And that's, of course, a continuation uh, from the Obama economy, of course. And Donald Trump did. Look, here's the thing about tax cuts, right? So tax cuts do offer a short-term stimulative effect. So that's why, okay, hey, the economy is already doing pretty good. Now we're going to give you some tax cuts. Hey, a little bit of a jolt back in the economy. Now, some of that is, is false. Some of that is just... Uh, inflationary, for example, the stock market. So when Trump gave all these corporations gigantic tax cuts, what did they do? Well, they didn't really, really reinvest it into their workers. Some people did get uh, small bonuses, but in general, there weren't really a lot of raises, anything that was significant. Uh, in fact, all wage gains have actually been wiped out by inflation Congratulations. So people are actually not making any more than they did. And not only that, but look, most of these companies took that money and they went and bought back their own stock. They bought stock, uh, stock buybacks that artificially inflated their stock prices. Now, that's great for executives, but how's that good for you? It's not. And it's actually not good for the long-term health of Wall Street. Because then again, 
these companies are not doing better. They're not selling more product. They're not making more things. All they're doing is that they're putting out the false impression that they're doing better. And then, of course, making more money at the top at the executive level. That is not good. That is a very negative thing long term. Uh, and so that's going to have repercussions on the economy. But anyway, right now, the point is Donald Trump is actually doing terrible under a pretty decent economy. So you got to wonder what the problem is here. Okay. But anyway, um, let me give you some more tweets. Uh, Patty says, poor little guy doesn't understand. This says most people don't like what your father is doing. Even more people just don't like who he is as a human being. And that kind of goes to my last point. He's such an odious human being that people look at that and be like, well, I might be doing a little bit better. There's, there is more jobs. And, you know, if you don't add in the context of it being a continuation from the Obama economy, um, well, then they just look at, uh, they look at Donald Trump and they're like, Duh, fuck that guy. But anyway, um, one more, Dante Invictus. And I, I, I like this because I like his name. He says he's so dumb, he doesn't realize this poll is not a good thing. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.